Well, hello, everybody. And welcome to this episode of Find Out What's in Polentis Forest. And look at here, I'm going to show you a couple of things before I get started. Here's my, uh-oh, Charlie Brown tree. Check that out. I thought this was so cool. Of course, I had to dress it up with a little bit of garland and things like that. But Charlie Brown, knock yourself out. And welcome to this episode of Find Out What's in Polentis Forest. So grab yourself a glass of water or a cup of tea and spend the next few minutes with me. And like I always tell you, don't believe everything you hear. Check your facts and do your own research. Even at Christmas time, there's lots of fakery going around, so be careful. Well, I did some search on the internet, and I found some Christmas jokes. <laughs> yes, Christmas jokes. So, um, let's see what we can laugh about here. All right? What do Santa's elves drive? Minivans. And what do Santa's elves drink? Minnesota. <laughs> Come on, that was cute. What is claustrophobia? You know what claustrophobia is? If you pronounce it the right way, it's actually the fear of Santa Claus. And what breakfast, breakfast cereal do elves eat? Okay, snowflakes? I think that was Frosty the Snowman. I got a typo here. <laughs> what do you call a cat sitting on Santa's lap? Sandy Claus? All right, where does the snowman hide? His money, if he has any. In a snow bank. Now, come on, you guys, I know you got that one. <laughs> what type of cars do elves drive? Toyotas. And let's see here. Why did the Christmas tree go to the barber? Come on, you know this one. It needed to be trimmed, okay? And what kind of motorcycle does Santa Claus drive? Now take a wild guess. What? What? Come on. Okay, he drives a Harley. Is it a Harley Davidson? Or is it a Holly Davidson? I'll let that question just resonate in your brain for a minute. And when you figure out the right answer, send me an email. What do you call a bankrupt Santa Claus that can't give you no money? St. Nick Less. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Mary. Mary who? Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, that was silly. What do dogs and cats call Santa Claus? They call him Santa Paws. What is a parent's favorite Christmas carol? Come on, you parents know this one. Silent night. In other words, be quiet and go to sleep because if you're up peeking, peeking around, Santa's going to catch you and then you might not get your presents. What do you get when you cross a Christmas tree with an apple? Oh, this is a good one. A pineapple. Because aren't Christmas trees made of pine? Aren't all Christmas trees pine trees? Heck, I don't know. Check your facts. <laughs> what do you get from a cow at the North Pole? Ooh, you get some yummy ice cream. And why do mummies like the holidays? Because of all the wrapping. I don't mean wrapping like it's a hip, a hop, a hip to the Merry Christmas 2018, yo, yo, yo. Not that, but wrapping like being wrapped in a present. And why don't aliens celebrate Christmas? See, look, don't get me on my soapbox. We had to go there with the dang aliens. Why don't they celebrate Christmas? Because they don't want to give away their presents. They just want to abduct us at 3.15 every morning and stick needles in our belly buttons in our other places. <laughs> when does New Year's Day come before Christmas Day? Oh, that's a hard one. Every year. <laughs> that's the answer to that. 
why does everybody like Frosty the Snowman? Because he's so cool. And which reindeer likes to clean? The reindeer that likes to clean is called a comet. So that is our Christmas comedy for 2018. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you are having the most exciting, most spectacular, and most Christmas ever. The most Christmas ever means the most Christmas. The best, the most fun, the most filled with love and friends and happiness and joy. And if they're filled with tears, hopefully it's only tears of joy. So I am so very, very grateful for everything, everything. And I'm even more grateful for you. So you get your fine selves out and enjoy your Christmas. And thank you for watching my show. I will see you before the end of the year. If I can get my little Christmas tree up here. The little desk is getting, uh, it's getting crowded. And if you get a minute, get your fine selves a copy of Angels Passing Through. <laughs> I love you, everybody. Hope you have a fabulous, safe, super duper great and happy Christmas. And thanks for watching What's in Polentis for us. Much love, everybody.